coming into Scott's main building and it is completely full end to end and wall to wall. Here at Scott's they have a lot of uh, nice colored displays uh, to go along with the signs. We've got a, actually a nice Kodak film sign. $350. Palm cigars, $250. We've got another big mail pouch sign. Or actually, thermometer. It hits $450. Got some green, uh, and we've got another. This must be a, a more rare uh, X lax, but it's 500 for this X lax thermometer. Let's see those thermometers, built Morse. We've got a large thermometer here. This guy specializes in thermometers. Yep, 450 on that one. There's some nice signs back in the back as well. It's got a little John Deere pedal tractor that's got a lot of wrong parts on it. And we got 650 on it. It's missing. It's got the wrong paint, wrong tires, wrong wheels. Right. And it's even broken in the back. Seems pretty pricey for 650. They got a decent looking Schwinn Black Phantom there. And the price on it is fifteen hundred for the black phantom. They have a lot of uh, older furniture, wood. People aren't so impressed with the wood furniture anymore. But a uh, hall chair here for uh, two eighty-five. Some nice glass cabinets for uh, four ninety-five for three sections. 175 for that big glass cabinet and 395 for this one with the with the base we got 2200 for uh this 1906 keist keist out pedal car that is an old pedal car if you're into pedal cars that is old and uh i like the little uh guys up here the little uh so and a little Michelin guy, those are pretty neat. We got Humphreys Vet Veterinary Service. And we're rolling down. The thing that uh, catches my idea, eyes down here, we got a bigger Michelin man. This guy's pretty decent size. $285 for this big Michelin man. And something even more impressive right behind me is this. $24.50 for this big coffee grinder, but that's very ornate and very nice. We'll turn it sideways so you can get it all in. Look at that. That is a sharp looking coffee grinder. Got a little music from the music box. have a, a lot of uh, posters here at Scott's Antique and buttons for different things, presidents, etc. A lot of posters. We've got a nice old war poster here. USO. Posters, classics. A lot of World War II stuff. 375 for that. Just little buttons. An old uh Kenway 
Roosevelt. Bob Americana right here. <laughs> Trump. A little bit older on this side. Reagan. Nice selection. Lots of vintage toys. If you're in the collection of vintage toys, we got an old Jeep here. A little two hundred dollars at two hundred dollars. Tonka truck still in the box. Seventy-five dollars for that. We got road grader. We got an old steam. Two hundred dollars for an old uh, steamer. This uh, Barbara Green over here. That's a pretty rare guy right there. Lots of uh, action heroes. Got them stacked up. WWF guys. Some more uh, tin lithographs up here. Nice looking. I like this one too, the little gas station. That's pretty sharp. Some cars, $75 for this. A lot of albums. A lot of board games. The 18 $35. Old railroads it's getting harder to find old railroad stuff. He's got a lot back in the back here. This guy's got lunch boxes. He's got just a real nice selection of old metal trucks. Check out $200 for this old Ford. Old beetle bug up there, some fire engines, their old steam, and that old uh, steel craft Marion, 175 for that guy. Some little tin lithograph over here, 110 for that little guy. That duck, that's pretty neat. Real duck. It's on like an aircraft carrier. Uh, wooden toys. I like the old like, helicopters. Texaco boat. Got an old Popeye game. $95. Big selection of stuff. Hot Wheels cars. There's lots of those here. Got a big trucks down there on the floor. And, uh, Got some more up here with 345 for this little semi here. This one's pretty nice over here. It's got a canoe on top. It's got trailer in back. It's 295 for that one. That's pretty cool. Got a little crane. 250 for that old crane. A lot of fun stuff. We got a lot of uh. We got some parking meters, and we've got some movie theater speakers, a little bit of Americana here, and we even got uh, something hanging on your tray on your car whenever you can it. I like it. That's a nice setup for uh, the car for uh, for car shows. Yeah, they have a lot of nice uh, automobile Americana. We got the whole speaker set up here. That's pretty nice. 185 for the complete setup with the popcorn on top. Route 66, that's a nice setup there. These uh, air pumps are uh, pretty hot demand. That's extremely nice shape. $1,900 at Sinclair. Turn it sideways so you can see it back in there. And a little, this uh, big boy over here, that's a, that's a nice piece too. And got some old uh, Coke cooler down there. Yeah, that's a uh, $325 for that Coke cooler. A lot of nice uh, automobile stuff back here, Route 66, old Indiana license plate for motorcycle. These old uh, ashtrays are always kind of cool, $22 for the Pepsi one. Winston, $22. The old uh, fire extinguishers polished up real nice, $150. For those firefighter guys, people collect fire stuff. 
Oh, nice signs back there. We got a little bit of Sinclair one. It looks like it's porcelain. 225. We got a nice thermometer here, X-Lax. I'm surprised I'm gonna use X-Lax thermometers, I see. And that is a uh, 430. Little paint phone. I think it's got a lot of uh, Americana. Some gumball machines, some more big boys. Down below we have a lot of signs. This is one of the old embossed stop signs, 125. And we even have a uh, traffic lights here. 110 for non-shrouded covered and, and then 150 for the ones that have the and these just light up 110, 120 volt. And it's got the old even have the old uh, airlines uh, coke cooler. These are smaller, much more rare. And uh, 395. I like the traffic lights myself. We've got a, I assume that's restored. Coke cooler, that's really, really clean, 325. That's a really clean one there. Looks like they have some repop stuff too. Kind of expensive if you buy all originals. The small gas pumps back here, we got the aluminum and brass style. Old beer signs, old Coke. Some more toys. Kind of a neat old uh, bulldozer with a robot running it. 250 for that guy. 85 for this old, looks like military truck. And that really old Tonka. Uh, it's, looks like it's a uh, 135 for that shovel. And a, a little scout tucked away back in here. And that's $75 for that little scalp. Nice display of uh, automobile Americana back there. Look at all that. Pretty amazing. This guy has more modern Americana for your bar and such. Got a Bud Light sign. Pretty nice, that neon. Budweiser. Budweiser one's 400. Uh, Bud Light one over here for the basketball. That one's 200. I don't see a price on the Coors Light. This is a pretty nice little box here. Give me one sweet Cuban fine cut. Cigars. 375. Not horrible shape, not perfect, but not bad. Got to sit on top of an old ice box. It's been refinished. And old Winchester Centennial sign. And that is 200 for the old uh, Centennial sign. If you collect 94s. That would be perfect for your uh, display. You can see on the other side, we've got some more firearm stuff here. Some nice for your gun man, man cave, gun room. And uh, this Winchester Super X Buffalo Bill. I guess 135. And a few license plates over here too. Personalized, kind of neat. A little miniature uh, salesman sample set. Table and chairs there. And another little like salesman sample over here. For an old uh, wood burner. We've got a bunch of 7-Up crates here. 20 bucks a piece. And we've got this old commodities. You can put nuts, bolts, what, uh, anything in there. Uh, flour. Uh, just anything in that and then you got little scales to weigh it and the whole setup is $8.95 for that there are a couple little crocs down below and 38 and 115 for this guy and some Ohio bricks let's see what Ohio bricks sells for 
twelve dollars for for an Ohio brick. We also have African art. They got beads, blankets, uh, a lot of nice wood carvings, traditional African wood carvings down here on the ground, over there, antelope, gazelles. Statues, some chairs, a lot of nice African folk art here. That's pretty neat. That's multi pieces put together. January. There's some nice baskets here. You can get beanie babies by the wheelbarrow full here. If you want some beanie babies. <laughs> postage stamp machine there in the quarter some uh, decal burlap bags thirty dollars each and we got jingle bells getting close to Christmas time thirty dollars for your bells A little blacksmith shop some of the building. We've got a fine looking aluminum Christmas tree here. And that is uh, $350 for that. We have a nice Christmas display here. She has some vintage stockings. Pretty neat. Some old vintage toys. Really nice old sleigh here. Like all the vintage Christmas things, Christmas tree, nice little Christmas scenes here. Got some vintage Christmas uh, decorations inside here. But uh, over here, this is really neat. They got these vintage snowshoes. I like these snowshoes. They're 195. Get leather straps. Right next to it, they got some vintage skis. The skis are really nice. And uh, we'll see more information on those skis. 125. And then we've got an old snowboard down here. Check out that snowboard. And that is a 1960s snowboard, 250. That's gonna be one of the early, early snowboards. Really nice set of Christmas and wintertime themed stuff here at uh, Scott's. We have a place here at Scott's that sells uh, micro machines, lots of them. And uh, I see all kinds of micro machines, but this set caught my eye. We've got Ross's little yellow truck, Stowe's Bad Dog, Ken Lamont's Midnight Express, the sled, the Sassy Massey Knox's, John Heilman's Ohio Gold. One, two, three, four. I got Mission Impossible. And we have a few more. We have Banner Brothers and Irish Challenger, Fred Freeman's, just a, a neat selection there.